Hello and welcome to the online tutorial for IBW Local 112's online dispatch and dues payment system. To access the website, you'll need to navigate to ibw112.workingsystems.com. We'll also put a link to the website on the job listing page of the local website. For your initial login, you can either use your email address or your card number as your username. If you haven't updated your email address with the hall, you might want to do that, but though you should still be able to use your card number to log in. Your initial password will be your last name and the last four digits of your social security number. You will then be required to change your password after your first login. So I have my card number and I already have my password set up. So we're going to hit login and the first page that you'll be brought to is the personal information page. Here you can update your contact information and even change your email address. The next page that we're going to visit is the registration info page, which can be accessed from the registration drop down menu. If you are signed on to one of our books, and you can see that I have signed myself on to Journeyman Wireman Book 4, you'll have some registration info here. You can see that my registration or bid number is 393. You can see the date that I signed, the date that I last confirmed, and the next date that I need to confirm by. Since my next confirmation date is the end of December, there is an actual confirm button up here, which will allow you to confirm online. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And it said resign successful. Ryan Grimes says successfully resigned, and you should get an email as well. Um, that should let's hit refresh here, and it should update. So yeah, your registrations are up to date. And now it says my next. Uh, Resign or next confirmation date is January 31st. So the next tab we want to go to is under registrations and active registrations. And here it's got a lot of the same information, but one thing we added is the ability to remove yourself from our books. So a lot of our travelers might find that helpful. Um, you can come in here and you hit deactivate, and it says, Are you sure you want to drop your registration from the inside journeyman wireman book? You hit yes. And now it'll say nothing to show here. And if you go back to registration info, it will show that you are not on any registered books. So the next tab we want to go to is under the jobs drop down menu in our work list. And here you can see all the different books at the hall. There's a drop down menu for the inside wireman book, uh, one through four, material handlers residential, journeyman techs, and the installers. Here you can see all the bid numbers, how many strikes you have, and what zones you are signed up in. One thing to keep in mind is that sometimes guys are on that work list for sometimes years in this case. So you can see number one on book one is 663, which theoretically should put them down here, you know, towards the bottom of book one. But they've been registered on the books for at least over a thousand applicants and the, the bid number system has, has rolled since then. You can see I'm signed up on uh, book four so you can see my bid number here and I'm highlighted in red. So the next tab we can go to under the jobs tab is the job history and here you can see everywhere that you've worked out of one, local 112. So the next page is where you'll do the online bidding and the online dispatch. Hit jobs available. And you can see right now there's a green screen that shows bidding is open. You can bid anytime. Basically the same bidding rules apply for the recorder that they apply for the online dispatch. So at 5 p.m. it'll open up and you can bid. And at 8 a.m. the following business day, it'll close down and you can no longer bid. There are several different ways to filter through the jobs. You can do it by book, you can do it by employers, work sites, and then zones. Right now we just have a fake call that I created with AECOM and then the journeyman tech calls with McKinstry. So say you were interested in the AECOM call, you can hit this little plus over here and expand it to more information. You can see the job class is journeyman wireman. There are four positions available. It's on the inside wireman book. It's a day shift call. 
OSHA 10 is required. Um, they're working four 10s with possible overtime. You report at 6 a.m. The work site is the Hanford Pit Plant, and then you report to the Pona Building on your first day. You can see the scale, and it's uh, in Zone 6. And then under Comments, we can put a little more additional information. Right now, I just got test in there. So if you're interested in the AECOM call, you can come down here and you can hit where it says No Bid. You can go one as your first priority. If there was another journeyman wireman call that you might wanted to make your second priority, you can go down and select that one as, and change that one to two and three and then four and so on and so forth. But for this example, say we want to bid on the AECOM call, you come down and you select one and then you scroll to the bottom and there's this big button called Submit Bids. And you hit that button and it says your bid references have been submitted. You'll get an email um, at your email address, and you hit OK. So it doesn't necessarily signify that you have bid, but if you want to change your bid, you can do that up until 8 a.m. the next business day. So say I no longer wanted to bid on that AECOM call, I can hit no bid, and then come back down to submit bids, and it will say, you have not selected any jobs, therefore no bids will be entered. All previous job bids will be cleared. Do you want to continue? And if you want to take your name off the, the list for that AECOM call, you hit yes. And as your bid preferences have been submitted, an email confirmation has been sent. The next page we want to go to under the jobs drop down menu is the hiring hall archive. And under this on this page, you can see all the dispatches for the last 30 days. So on December 16th, WTCC, the one call they had went to book one, number 654. And these are broken down by book. So for instance, the, the FE and C calls on book two, they went to 874 and 916. And on book one, they went to 597 and 598. Um, it doesn't necessarily say which which classifications they are, but if you open this up, you can see the Columbia River Electric. The hourly wage was 1382, so that was probably a material handler. So the last little function of this online system is the online dues payment. When you come up here to the dues menu, hit pay dues online, it'll show you what you've paid through. And then there will be another drop down menu of how many months you want to pay through. So if you wanted to pay like a full year, it'll do the calculations, it'll um, show you where all the money's going, and then you can come down here to pay charges, and you can input all your credit card information, and then hit checkout, and that'll get sent off. It'll go through their system, we'll get notified here at the hall. And then, the uh, office staff will print you out a dues receipt and get that in the mail to you. The uh, referral procedure has been updated to incorporate online dispatch and you can see that here under announcements. It'll also be on the website and in the hall as well. We believe that many of the bugs have been flushed out, but just like the phone recorder, if you are ever in doubt about whether the system recorded your bids or not, it is your responsibility to be in the hall the next business day for dispatch.